My story about my crazy online abusive ex-boyfriend, it's a long story. I feel so crazy for writing about this, but I need to get it off my chest and tell someone about it, it's a long story, so bear with me. It all started like 5 years ago, I used to be super shy, backwards, and very insecure. I just turned 17 at the time, I always dreamed of having a boyfriend, but never actually had the courage to talk to guys. Well, one day my sisters convinced me to go on this online game, I was nervous about it, but eventually I did, and I unfortunately met the guy who turned out to be my biggest mistake. I was so naive back then, and because I was insecure already, just him saying the words, you're beautiful, or you're so damn gorgeous, made my heart flutter. So one thing led to the next and we were talking on Facebook chat. We stayed up all night talking about our dreams and all the goofy stuff that gives you butterflies in your stomach, he was so charming, and then the next thing I know he tells me he thinks he might be falling in love with me, and of course I didn't know how to respond, but to say, we just met, I really really like you too, but I don't know if I'm in love with you yet. Well let's just say me saying that was mistake number one. He blew up at me, cussing me out, going on and on about how he couldn't believe I said that, and that, I was stupid and such a horrible person for not loving him back. He would tell me how he could basically find any girl better than me in a heartbeat, and even they would love him a million times better than me. And because I was insecure, it was like in that moment I didn't want to lose the guy who for the first time in my life made me feel special, so of course I apologized and fixed it the best way I could by telling him that I do think I might love him, and that I was just scared, well that was mistake number two. Little did I know, I not only caught myself a catfish, but also a narcissistic boyfriend. In that moment I didn't realize that what I just did was invite him into my heart for a world of pure torture and heartbreak. Time went on, and every night was the same torture, one second our relationship would be perfect and amazing, and I would feel as if I was on top of the world. I was so madly in love with him, and felt as if we were meant to be together forever. Then the next second I would miss a sentence through our chat or say one thing wrong and he would cuss me out, he would call me, stupid, pathetic, ugly, fat, and basically say any other girl would be better than me, and that I was such a ugly fat cow, and I would never find another guy who loved me like he does. He would build me up and then break me down. Our fights would go on for days and nights, he would tell me things like if I don't fix it he's gonna go find himself another girl and if I threatened to leave he would basically say that the only reason he would do this was because he loved me and he wants us to be perfect, and that he was fighting for our love. As soon as I would fix my mistake he would snap back on his charm and make me promise to never leave him. Of course I fell for it, he had me wrapped around his finger, we would break up and then get back together within the same hour or day. My sisters knew I was dating him online, and began to suspect his abuse. I would always have to cover it up for him by pretending it was all my fault, and tell them that I deserved whatever it was he said or did to me. He eventually had me believing that they were against me, and that I could only spend time with him, otherwise he would leave me and find a new girl. My heart couldn't bear that, so I began to isolate myself from them, and eventually from everyone for a whole year and a half. I begin to love him, but hate him all at the same time. Our relationship began to grow over time, and I began to feel trapped because even if I wanted to leave him, I couldn't because I wouldn't allow myself to, in my mindset he was all I had. He began to convince me to send him nudes, I was against it, and kept avoiding it, but finally after nights of fighting, I caved in, that was mistake number 3. He began to want more and more, and I kept tailoring to his needs because I knew it made him happy, and that meant less nights of fighting and crying. Pictures began to lead into videos, and then that's when the real trouble began. He began to convince me to start sexting and sending naked pictures to other guys, he would tell me it was alright, and then preach to me and pray with me about it. At the time I knew it was wrong, but a part of me still wanted to please him. I was of course scared because I was very insecure about myself and I felt so wrong doing it, so I began to lie to him and come up with fake stories about me and other guys and he loved it. 
But eventually he caught on to it, and wanted proof I was with other guys. I didn't want to disappoint him, I wanted to please him. So I did it, I began to sext other guys and eventually start sending them videos and pictures, and even began Skyping with them, no matter how horrible I felt. In my mindset I was doing anything just for him, I thought we were going to be together forever, and he loved it and loved me for doing it. Things began to get worse, even if I was at all slow at typing, or if I missed one thing he said, he would accuse me of cheating or talking to another guy without his permission. He would get so mad he would call me all the names you can think of like, whore, slut, stupid, dumb, pathetic, bitch, etc. Then he would get on my Facebook and get a list of people I knew and tell me that, if I don't do what he wants, or if, I don't admit to cheating he would send them the naked videos and pictures, and expose me as the whore I was. Of course it would scare me out of my mind, and I would just pretend I was secretly talking to another guy, and then as soon as I would admit to it, he would be happy again, just like that. He would say things like, baby why didn't you just tell me? I would have been okay with it, just ask me for permission next time. And then would proceed with, so tell me something sexy you guys were talking about, and I would have to make up another story, because I never ever would have cheated on him with someone else, I loved him. Only other time I talked to other guys was when he pressured me to. It got to the point, I began to feel sick all the time, I was both emotionally exhausted and physically, sometimes I couldn't eat, I would throw up, I would sometimes stay up 24 to almost 48 hours fighting with him and him threatening me until I made something up that would please him. I was sleep deprived, even my family began to notice that I wasn't sleeping, and my mom would freak out, and that would only cause me to lash out and isolate myself even more than I already had. I believed he was the only person I had left, and so many times he wanted me to run away and be with him, and I almost packed up and left, but because we were so off and on I didn't go. I began to hurt myself by pulling my hair, digging my nails into my skin, banging my head against the wall. I basically did anything to cause myself pain, sometimes I would hit myself over and over again until I bruised. I felt as if I was trapped, like I couldn't get away, like I couldn't stop. There were so many times I was gonna kill myself, I can't even caught them at this point. I eventually had to clear all my friends on Facebook, and block all my contacts and posts from him so he couldn't see the names of my family or friends. But he knew my sisters so he would threaten to send things to them even. He had me sexting and skyping with more guys than I could even count, but it only got worse. He eventually wanted me to download this thing to where he could watch me and other guys through the computer, and he could monitor and access anything I was on. I luckily convinced him that my computer wouldn't let me. He then proceeded in wanting me to have sex in real life with other guys, and he told me I should let them get me pregnant and he would claim the baby as his own and we would get married and have a happy family together. Like I said, I was madly in love with him, and it felt as if I was brainwashed into believing him. So I attempted to get together with a couple different guys, but both somehow thankfully chickened out on me which I thank God about now. He even went so far as wanting me to arrange gangbangs, and he wanted me to sell naked videos online or sell sex to make money for us, which I thankfully didn't do either. There was even a point where I was sending him money, I sent him over $400 because he said he was sick and dying, he said he had diabetes and possibly cancer, so many times he had me convinced that he was going to die. He basically had me in tears almost every night and day with everything he would say and do, which began to make me even more sick. He even began to threaten his own life if I didn't give him what he wanted, or if I didn't spend enough time with him. One second he was saying things like, I love you and I want to be with you forever, and the next he was telling me that, if I ever leave him he was going to kill himself, which would play with my heart even more. I believed he was the only one for me and I catered to his every need because like he always told me, I needed to prove my love and, if one of us goes down, we both do. I believed every word he said, and he would always tell me how he loved God with all his heart, and how he wanted to start a family with me and us move in together, and he would even pray with me through text. So I believed him when I should have left. 
In my mind I thought that he still had good in him, and that I could maybe help change him and make him better. Then I hit about 18, and my mom and dad forced me to get a job, he was the reason I never went to college, so I was stuck working instead. But at the time I didn't want to do anything other than be with him, even though sometimes I was scared what he was gonna start a fight over, but at the moment I didn't care I loved him, so I was furious at my parents. My parents suspected things, but didn't know about any of it, and they still don't really know what all happened. But as soon as I started working, and stopped spending 24 hours of my day with him, he started to cheat. He would tell me it's all my fault and that if I want him to stop I need to quit my job and only be with him, as soon as I would find out he was cheating on me my heart would break over and over again to the point I couldn't breath, I felt like dying. I would lay depressed in my bed for days most of the time crying myself to sleep. I would leave him for a day or two, and then he would tell me he missed me, and loved me, and didn't want anyone else but me, and I would fall right back into his arms. Then I would catch him doing it again, it was a continuous cycle, and finally I hit breaking point and I would just snap and we would fight and fight all the time. Eventually I began to become friends with another guy, and that made him even more furious, because he didn't want me to spend time with anyone else unless I was sexting with them, for the sake of our relationship. Then one night I wasn't there and he sent threats to me the whole night, I woke up to over a hundred messages saying, if I don't get on that he would send everything I sent him to everyone I know, and expose me as a whore. He apparently saved a list of people that were friends and family before I blocked him from seeing it. That was the last straw for me I was going to kill myself. But luckily I had my sisters there for me after all that. It took every strength I had to leave him, I wanted to get back together with him so badly, but with support of my sisters I made it through. And luckily everything he said was a bluff, and he never sent anyone any of the videos, at least not for my knowledge. I'm sorry for such a long story, but I needed to get it off my chest. I was with him two whole years, and the only people that truly knew about it are my two sisters. It's been two years now since the relationship, and I suffer from depression, suicidal thoughts, insecurity, and apparently context PTSD, which is from being in that relationship. In the beginning it was a struggle not talking to him, my sisters had to change my passwords and everything just so I wouldn't go back with him, but every single day I was tempted to figure out a way to message him. Even after we stopped talking I wanted to be with him, even to this day I still miss him sometimes, which I shouldn't, because he was an abusive manipulator and I know we weren't meant to be together. Looking back at it, it felt like I was brainwashed, I wanted to change him so badly, and fix our relationship and turn it from bad to good so much that I became addicted to him. I can't believe half the things he had me doing, and the fact I actually did them kills me. I wasn't the same person then that I am now. I feel so guilty and like a total slut for doing it, and there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. It turned out after we stopped talking he messaged me every day, cussing me out and then begging me back for four whole months which of course I won't ever allow myself to read those messages, because I know how easy it is to fall back into the relationship, but one of my sisters saw some of them. This is the first time I've ever told almost the whole story to anyone, and sometimes I feel like I'm pathetic and stupid for getting myself into that relationship. I mean how do you find closure in something like that? Two years later and I still break down crying and go into deep depression over it, but I hope someday it will get better. He did turn out to be a catfish, to this day I still don't know who he is, or how old he truly was, for all I know he could have been an old man. I still can't bring myself to date anyone as of right now, because I have a fear of them hurting me like he did, and I'm terrified to even take that chance again.